बटन रसन the topic uh, which i am going to uh, talk uh, is basically button russell's uh, how he uh, constructed knowledge in his long span he spent more than four decades or 50 years of his writings so it's a very much a uh, complex and challenging task to at least uh, have an overview of how button russell's theory of knowledge or how he constructed human knowledge as such the epistemology of it the ontology of it uh, the psychology of it how in his various phases of his writings so how it somehow in the literature how in the analytical uh, tradition which had its uh, propounders of russell being one of the main propounders or a significant uh, expounder of the analytical tradition preceded by many uh, philosophers and mathematicians the way uh, russellian uh, understanding of how he constructs human knowledge as such so it has gone uh, even uh, chronologists have there is a chronology there can be chronology to it because uh, and that chronology uh, may be uh, appreciated by a particular russian scholar who might be from time to time aware of you might have you might read his books in bits and pieces but you can uh, discern a pattern which is otherwise very tough to see it so in chili uh, if you restart with uh, russell the way he studied uh, in his uh, dissertation uh, philosophy of libnis and then uh, his understanding of mathematics his understanding of logic so in his uh, earlier stages if you study his he wanted to in his uh, men, uh, mental development what he says that he wanted to have uh, two approaches there was two approaches of knowing the things either you go from concrete and you go to abstract or either you start from something abstract and you wanted to uh, realize that abstract in terms of some concrete the aim of russell was somehow to approach things both ways abstract ways as and somewhat uh, to reach uh, somewhat in 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 in, in between so you can start with some principles and you can go to to exhaust it to the ultimate levels of abstraction or you you can uh, start with an abstract principle and you can uh, apply it and apply it to the concrete notions of uh, practicality or whatever you might want to call it so uh, unlike his uh, rationalist uh, predecessors who started with ground metaphysical principles and work downwards and unlike his uh, empirical predecessors who started with deliverances of sense experiences and worked up so russell uh, has investigated a middle a middle of the two middle of the two sciences so uh, so at the end of his for example career he described his final uh, uh, philosophical position as that of a synthesis of four sciences namely physics psychology physiology and mathematical logic at the end of it but how he reached at it is that he has gone if you uh, through various uh, approaches or processes in his various developments so so if you see his uh, subject if you see his uh, study in a so if you a lot of people are saying that it's difficult to extend uh, overestimate the extent to uh, russell thought 
dominated 20th century analytical philosophy, where virtually every strand, uh, strand of its development either originated with him or was transformed by being transmitted through him. Uh, analytical philosophy itself owes its existence, existence more to Russell and, than any other philosopher. So this is one of the way uh, you can see his uh, contribution to. But uh, <coughs> before how he sees it, so you have to uh, swim, you have to go through his various uh, books, whether he wrote Analysis of Matter, whether he wrote Analysis of Mind, whether he wrote Human Knowledge and Scope and Limits, Inquiry into Meaning and Truth. So, so the uh, Russellian epistemology, you can say, he wanted to, he was a philosopher of language, he was a philosopher of uh, matter, he was a philosopher of uh, mind, and he was also philosopher of uh, a tradition or which one wanted to synthesize all these uh, things within the background of uh, the idealism, the idealistic uh, frame, which was whether it was Berkeley, whether it was uh, whether it was Leibniz, whether it was. So he had a uh, very he wanted to develop these things uh, in the in the spirit of his uh, best spirit in uh, uh, in the best possible spirit he was trying to evolve the things. So what uh, Russell thought of knowledge, he, he basically categorized knowledge of things and knowledge of truths. And knowledge of things, he says knowledge by contents and knowledge by destructions. And knowledge of truths, he calls intuitive truths and derivative.